There are two different kinds of data that we use. First is operational data, which incorporates transactional information such as usernames, order processing, and financial transactions. This data keeps the current state of business and serves the applications that run the business. Next kind of data is analytical data which is used by data scientists and other business analysts for predictions, trending, and other business intelligence. This data is typically not transactional and often not relational. Another important concept is bounded context which comes from domain-driven design, which is a logical boundary of a domain where particular terms and rules apply consistently. Architectural design record is one of the most effective ways of documenting architecture decisions. ADR consists of a short text file, usually one to two pages long, describing a specific architecture decision. Contains description of the problem and list of alternative solutions. Decision and consequences. Architectural fitness functions are built to protect architectures from unexpected changes. They validate architecture characteristics, not domain criteria. Unit tests are the opposite. Thus, an architect can decide whether a fitness function or unit test is needed by asking the question, is any domain knowledge required to execute this test? If the answer is yes, then a unit or function or user acceptance test is needed, otherwise a fitness function is needed. Synchronous communication. Two artifacts communicate synchronously if the caller must wait for the response before proceeding. Two artifacts communicate asynchronously if the caller does not wait for the response before proceeding. Optionally, the caller can be notified by the receiver through a separate channel when the request is completed. A workflow is orchestrated if it includes a service whose primary responsibility is to coordinate the workflow. A workflow is choreographed when it lacks an orchestrator. Rather, the services in the workflow share the coordination responsibilities of the workflow. Two artifacts are coupled if a change in one might require a change in the other to maintain proper functionality. Maintainability is about the ease of adding, changing, or removing features, as well as applying internal changes such as maintenance patches, framework upgrades, third-party upgrades, and so on. Testability is defined as the ease of testing as well as the completeness of testing. Large monolithic architectures are hard to test because for a simple code change you have to execute all tests. Deployability is not only about the ease of deployment, it is also about the frequency of deployment and the overall risk of deployment. Scalability is the capability of a system to handle an increasing amount of work. Basically there is vertical and horizontal scaling. In horizontal you add more servers, and in vertical you use more powerful servers. Fault tolerance is the ability of computer software to continue its normal operation despite the presence of system or hardware faults. High availability means systems are running and available most of the time. Architectural decomposition describes how to break apart large complex monolithic application to smaller parts. Decomposition can be done by tactical forking where you replicate the entire code base and remove not needed parts, component-based decomposition where you extract components and use refactoring patterns.